Well, we have this lovely, semi-famous, colorful Mac Plus with the external Apple Crate hard drive. But we want to modernize this Mac Plus to a lot of capabilities that it was not ever designed for. The main thing is this lacks termination power on the SCSI ports, but that can be easily remedied. What we're going to do is we're going to add the magic diode that will enable SCSI power. Because I have a blue SCSI on the way from Steve at Mac84 and with an over easy to adapter from Tom Barber from bluescuzzy.com, we're going to be able to boot this up and the blue SCSI will have its own power from the SCSI port. But that's not all the upgrades we're going to do to this. We are also going to rominate this Mac Plus. And we're going to be doing that courtesy of Kei Koba from Japan. He is selling these Rominator kits for the 512 and the Mac Plus. And we're going to breathe some new life. We'll be able to turn this thing on and it will be booting off internal ROM. And then we'll have the blue SCSI connected to it. So we'll just have all kinds of possibilities with this machine. So this is going to be a several part series. The first one's going to be to install the diode that will allow the termination power on the SCSI port. And I will post links where you can get these diodes for your machines and just a quick instruction on how to install it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the motherboard out of the Macintosh Plus and then we will begin. And also the other upgrade we'll be doing is we have also a gear kit as well for this machine for the 800K drive that is in it. Now the drive does work fine on this, but it's very noisy and it's probably never ever been serviced. So we will remove that, clean it, and put the replacement gears in it, reassemble it, and make sure it still works. So we got the logic board out of the Mac Plus, and now we can prepare to put the diode in it. And right there is where the diode goes. Now why Apple never put this on it in production, I don't know. It's just a simple job. It only probably gonna cost them a couple pennies more to do it, but oh well, that's just the way it is. But this, when we when we replace the diode on this, this is gonna give us the uh, termination power for the for the SCSI adapter here. So we're going to first. What we have to do is remove the old solder from the holes. We'll do that from the back side of the board. There, uh, we'll use like a solder sucker and see if we can get that out. And then we will uh, put the component in it, and then we'll solder it. That part will be done. All right, so we're gonna try to remove some solder here and then we'll try to get the rest out with the uh, solder sucker, but maybe we might be able just to wick it all off of it there. Put a little flux on it here. Let's see if we can get it to cooperate here. Okay, so we got the um, holes all cleared up on this here. And that stuff is just flux on there. We'll clean that all off once we get the diode in there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, mount the uh, diode in there. I will give you the link. I believe I got these off of Amazon. But we only need one. But we have plenty of extra. So if we need it, we have them. And the other, other thing that we have are the, these are from Tom Barber. Uh, he sells the blue SCSIs. This is the over easy to adapter that will go on the back of the SCSI port. And then the other part of it plugs into the blue SCSI. So pretty neat. And that makes a nice elegant solution to it. And of course you get the uh, official uh, blue SCSI stickers too. So anyway, put the diode on here. And you do got to be careful which way you put these in. And I'm going to uh, bend the legs here a little bit so that way it'll slip right in there. And we'll see how much we need to uh, bend it here. Let's see. Uh, let's see. They have a little bit shorter there. And it's good to always have extras of these in case you screw them up, break the legs off by accident. So let's see <clears throat> if we got this. All right, so I'll get this back in here. And here's the diode here. 
uh, we have to uh, get this all pressed down in here. Let me just flip the legs over on the other side here. We'll hold it down in place here. And it looks, uh, looks pretty good there. So we're just going to tidy it up just a tiny bit here. And it looks uh, pretty good right there. Let me get this in the camera there. There you go. So that's what it's going to look like there. And so we're going to get this soldered in here. And then we'll get it cleaned up. Get that in shot here. So we're just going to put a little bit here. We're going to put a little bit here. And like I said, don't worry about making a mess. This all clean up with alcohol. It'll look real nice when we're all done here. So there we go. And let me get my soldering iron here. And we get some solder. So we're going to solder this here. And I have to get over to the side so I can see it here. All right. So we will heat this up here. There we go. Okay, and we'll do the other one here. And we'll just go over it again here just to make sure we're looking good here. Same there, a little bit more there. All right. We will inspect our work here and might need to put some from the other side too. Let's take a look here and see what we got here. Let me just take a look at it here. It looks pretty good there. It looks pretty good there. And what I will do is I'm just going to put a little bit on this side here too. As their sides there, I'm just going to flow it here just to make sure, and then we can um, clean it up here, snip the leads off, clean it up, and it'll look good. So it's drying, it's looking pretty good there. Looks nice, it's all nice in there. And then on the back side, it looks just fine. Dry the alcohol off on the back of the board here. And I'm just cleaning the uh, rest of the flux off of it here. So I'm doing this off camera here. Just trying to get it all done here. It's very cold out in the garage, so that's why things don't dry. But uh, this is wet. That's dry. That's wet. So anyway, yeah, so we have our little conversion done here. So great. So um, pretty easy to do. And like I said, all I need to do now is uh, um, I talked to Steve. Uh, actually, he is uh, getting that out to the mail uh, either today or tomorrow. And then when we get that, then we will be able to test out the blue SCSI on it. That'll be pretty cool. But before we do that, though, we're going to put the Rominator in it. We're going to put the Rominator kit in it. And that'll be pretty exciting. I'm looking forward to get that done. So um, that's it, guys. So next video, we're going to be building the Rominator. And I'll give you some information about that. And we'll be able to boot off the ROM on this thing. It's going to go right there. These come out. Rominator board goes in there. Then the new program ROM go on top of that. We also have to run three wires. That's how we're going to get the power to it. There'll be three wires soldered on the legs of the chip here and that's what will power it. It's very very low profile. This is a little revised version of it so it'll slide right in and out without hanging up on anything. It's a very very low profile setup. So yeah it's pretty cool. And then uh, we will uh, boot it up and see how it works. And then the third installment will be having the blue SCSI in this. So all right guys.
And so the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be assembling this uh, big mess of wires used to make this, but they no longer make this. So now a gentleman in uh, Japan, he's actually uh, offering them. And his name is Kei Koba. I will give you the link. But this is the, the luxury kit. Uh, it's got all everything we need to put it together. And so anyway, uh, we have uh, all the sockets. We have the high-low ROM. We have um, all the headers that we need to cut. And all the sockets. There's more sockets there. And here's the PCB board. And there's the um, chip that we have to solder on it sounds, startup chimes, and all kinds of good stuff. Of course, I'll drop it on the floor. That's not good. And also, we have our gear kit for our floppy drive. Now, like I said, this drive works fine in it, but we need to do some maintenance on it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take that out uh, in another part of the series here. But right now, what we're going to do is we're going to be assembling this Rominator, okay? And basically, it just kind of goes right there when it's all put together there. And then, of course, then we have to run some, uh, three wires to the uh, main processor here. Just a real short run here. We need three of them. But we'll kind of go through this a little bit, how we put it together here. Should be interesting. Okay, so I hope you like this video. Uh, lots more stuff coming up. Please like and subscribe and click that notification bell. We're also on MeWe and Twitter. You can reach out to me there. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great week. Bye.